Hey, are you trying to grow your business on Instagram, but you're just not sure how to attract more followers or what you should be posting? I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that today. All right, so there's no doubt social media is all the rage and you should be using it in your business. And one of the most popular platforms is Instagram. And this is actually personal to me because this year I decided to make a resolution and use my personal Instagram to grow my brand and grow my business. I've always had a business Instagram, but I've never used a personal Instagram. And so I wanna share with you guys in this video four things I've learned on this journey of trying to grow my own Instagram. The first thing I've learned is you should switch your personal Instagram account to a business account. This is real easy, takes a couple minutes, go to your settings, change it to a business account. And the reason why is because you can get more analytics and engagement on your followers. The second thing I've learned is use Instagram stories and Instagram live whenever possible. The reason I've found is I used to always post photos and I would get some engagement, but when I started doing Instagram stories, I was getting so much more engagement. And I think it's because it gives people more of a window into who I am as a person. It's more authentic. They get to see what's happening in my day instantaneously. The caution I would give you with Instagram Live is don't do really long drawn out videos. I find that people really like the short sound bites versus a really long Instagram Live. The third thing I've learned is use hashtags on everything. So every photo, every Instagram story, and hashtag the audience you're after. Who do you want to attract? What followers do you want to follow your Instagram? Hashtag them. So for me, it would be real estate agents, insurance agents, mortgage brokers. A perfect example of what's happened to me is I'm going to a conference this year. So I hashtag that conference. I ended up gaining a couple followers just because they're going to the same conference and had used the same hashtag. With hashtags, you can also follow them now. So they're gonna pop up in your feed every day and it gives you the perfect opportunity to engage with that hashtag. What do I mean? Comment on it. If you see someone that has hashtag, maybe real estate or something like that, comment on that, like that photo. It gives you a chance to spark a conversation and hopefully gain a follower. And then the fourth and final thing that I've learned is be authentic in your posting. My posts that are way more personal, like me with my wife, me at the gym, me doing a diet, get so much more engagement than my post about business or a motivational quote. The reason why is because people follow you because they want to know who you are, what you believe in, you know, what's the real Luke Acre like? They don't follow me for my motivational quotes, although I can put that in there. So be very personal and authentic with your Instagram post. So there you have it, guys. There are four things I've learned so far on this journey of trying to grow my personal Instagram. If you like these tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please comment below. Let me know your tips on how to attract more followers and how to grow your Instagram. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, but most importantly, take action on this today.